Well, Monday marks the 74th anniversary of the Pearl Harbor attacks. News 2's Travis Rice has the story of one man that survived the infamous day. It was just a few minutes before 8 o'clock in the morning. Buck Morris remembers exactly what he was doing December 7th, 1941. I just got up, sitting on the side of my bed, putting on my shoes. The then 18-year-old was stationed in Hawaii. All of a sudden, I thought I heard an explosion in the distance. A couple of fellows running down the deck, steel deck up there, made a little noise. And I heard another explosion. One of my shipmates stuck his head down the ladder. He says, the Japs are attacking. Morris, a signalman on the USS Phelps, started heading to the bridge of the destroyer. The first thing I saw was a plane. He had just dropped his bombs probably on Ford Island, and he was pulling it out. And he just did clear our mass, you know. He was so low. And you could see the big red signal on the plane. He and the rest of the Phelps crew were somehow spared during all the chaos, now a turbulent memory for the 93-year-old. Think about it very little. In fact, when I came out of the service, I didn't want to talk about it. I didn't want to even think about it. I wanted to think about things that I had missed. But when I think about it, it's just like it was yesterday. Morris will be among several other Pearl Harbor attack survivors honored at the USS Yorktown Monday, in addition to the 2,403 who lost their lives that day. Travis Rice, News 2.